Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is graphically summarizing qualitative data on Tableau. And guys, for qualitative data, Tableau is much, much better and easier than Excel. But if you are an Excel person, we have a video about the same topic uh, using Excel, and the video is in our video description. So graphically summarizing qualitative data. With qualitative data, names identify the different categories. This data can be summarizing using a frequency distribution. And here is where uh, Tableau is easier. We don't need to calculate the frequency. Tableau does it all. And the frequency distribution is a table that summarizes the number of items in each of several non-overlapping classes. So let's go to our Excel file. And because Tableau is not a database, so we need to grab it from Excel. That is the most common one. So here is our scenario. We have a lot of people here. So here, some people or Oops. people, and then uh, they were asked what is their favorite country to win the World Cup 2022, the Football World Cup or Soccer World Cup, depending on where you are. So here I grab eight very good country, uh, countries, very good teams, and then, okay, 100 people. Man, set of candidates, let's go on people here too. Here is the frequency table, the frequency table that, or frequency di distribution, or table of frequency distribution that we were talking about. Uh, this is how we do on Excel. We need to calculate a lot of stuff on Tableau, nothing. So let's close it and let's go on Tableau. Uh, here, Tableau, to a file. And here, graphing on Tableau. And okay, the first, which sheet are we working with? So with the sheet, Tableau, people and country. That's it, nothing else. How do we do that? So the first one, first chart, we have four. Column, bar, pie, and Pareto. So let's go to the first three. Bar chart, vertical or horizontal. Rectangle that represents the frequency for each category. Height can be frequency, relative frequency, or percent frequency. And pie chart. In, in Brazil, my home country, we call it pizza chart. A circle divided into slices. That's why pizza makes more sense than pie, but okay. Where the size of each slice represents its relative frequency or percent frequency. Let's see these three that they are very uh, easy, much easier than Pareto. And let's see how do we do that. So Tableau, count. So, okay, the number of answers, 100. And we wanna split it by country. So here, favorite country to win World Cup 2022. And then we can rename it as column. If we want to expand it, standard, entire view, now we can do it. Here. And okay, I want to add the labels here. So my label is the number. Count as a label. If I want to get the label in percentage, only add table calculation percent of total. But that is not what we want to see because for the column, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so here, the and control Z, it goes back, just like Excel. To do the second one, the bar, we have one easy and one hard way. Let's start with the hard way. A sheet two bar again Tableau, now on columns, country, here, and we have it, standard, entire view, split it more. Here, count of Tableau, doesn't make sense, so we double click it, 
and delete it or we can name it the same with column count of tableau doesn't make sense and then if we want to add the label as count here the number of answers and for the pie chart let's do using the easy way double click on bar or column doesn't matter duplicate whoa now pie how do we change the style of our chart show me pie pie standard entire view and click here again here we have okay these countries the blue is argentina and then when we move here it goes and then this count tableau here we don't need it so hide cards but we want to add the name of countries here so favorite country on label and also the number so tableau also label but here it makes sense to work with percentage so here add table calculation set of difference from percent of total and here we have our percentage but here we see that the pie chart for a lot of countries here is not so easy to see so think about it maybe it's not the best one and now the Pareto chart let's go back to our PowerPoint because this is a little bit more complicated I've uh, a bar chart having the different count kinds of defects listed on the horizontal scales. Bar height represents the frequency of occurrence, and then we go on column. Bars are arranged in decreasing height from left to right. So here. So let's go to column. That is quite similar to column. Right click, duplicate, and let's move it to here. And Pareto. And then, how do we do the, uh, the sort here? Because it must be arranged in decrease height from left to right. So here, left, the top, goes down to the right, to the bottom. So click here on favorite country, right click, sort descending. Brazil is the top one and so on. But here, let's move from the entire view to the standard because it will be easier to draw our Pareto chart. So, okay. Now, sometimes that is what we are doing now, and that is the hardest topic for this chart. A method by plotting a cumulative percentage point for each bar. So, for instance, whoops, here. Brazil, the 17 in out of 100, that is easy, 17%. So we will create a line that we start on 17% and then we add France, 16 more, 33. And then we are going up until 100. So what do we need? A second axis here. How do we do that on Tableau? That is much easier than Excel. However, Excel has a standard Pareto charge that Maybe it's easier than in Tableau, but not that hard. So how do we create a second axis? Click on Tableau, very slowly, move, 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 move. Show, oh, here it's green. So it's green, you can release it. So, okay. Now we have two Tableaus. The first one is the column that is right here. The second one is the second count of Tableau here. So let's first do our calculations and then we go back and do our form instead of all of these bubbles here. So this is the first one, the column. Let's keep it. The second one is the Pareto. Now we need to do the calculation. So add table, calculation. Here, first running, running total. And then, see, we create the, this one from bottom to top. But we don't want the total. So we need to add a secondary calculation. 
that is the percent age, the percent of total. And we close it. And now, what do we have? The first bubbles here, we don't want bubbles. So automatic, we want bars. Cool, huh? The second one, we don't want bars. We want a line. So that is what we have here. And then the number. Oh, sh if, oh, so first, a lot of blues here. Blue, blue. So color. Okay, we have it. What about these numbers here? Usually we don't get it. So move it. And here now we have the Pareto. So here start on 17 and then going up until the last one, Portugal, 100. And now we can move for entire view and we are better. However, a second topic that Tableau is so cool. We can combine these four charts in only one screen. That is what we call the dashboards. So here, qualitative charts. And then dashboard, show title, qualitative charts. Okay, how will we arrange it? The column and Pareto, they are quite similar. So we will let them for the, for the last. So by char bar charge here, pi. Let's add them here for now. We will be working on that later. And then column will be here. And Pareto will be here. And we can, whoops. And here, or see that we have Argentina, Brazil, England, France here. We don't need this one here. How do we delete it? Come back to Pi. Come here. Hide cards. And then R. And also hide it here. So here, see how cool it is. Or we want to... We want to change it. So we want to add the column to the top. See, it split places. And Pareto to the top. And then we have a qualitative chart. Let's make it, make it pretty. Double click, center, apply. OK, here we are. We want to export it. And then we want to export it. Our users, they don't have uh, Tableau. So we can export it to as a PowerPoint. And then on PowerPoint, it goes as a picture. So then you can, uh, send, you can save it as a picture later and even text this picture to your colleagues or the ones who will be using the dashboard. Okay, guys, so cool, huh? I love it. So, questions or comments, just leave here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.